Hello everyone, Zark here. So I've had a few questions on how to get a Counter-Strike Global Offensive server set up. It's pretty simple, you'll just need to find this little developer ValveSoftware.com website. I have two of these little links open. And uh, yeah, so you will need to first download this Steam command and you can go here, I'll send the links in the description and then you just click this here, download it. It'll just be one little executable file. I'll open it up. I'll extract it over here to this folder and get rid of this. So then what you want to do is open up your command prompt. Now you can either do this two ways. You can search for it or just hit command R and it'll open up this little run thing and type in CMD. And I put this in my in drive. <clears throat> I called it Nantox 54. So to get there, instead of you know being stuck here in the C drive, Zark right here, we'll type in in and then semicolon. You can type in whatever drive you want, semicolon, and then just hit enter and it'll go to it. And then type in CD wherever it is. I'll put it just in a simple server folder here. And to make sure we are in the right area, you can type in DIR. So dir right here. And yeah, Steam CMD is here. So now that we do have this going, what we'll do once we're in this directory, we'll type in Steam cmd that's all we'll type in and it'll run this little file for us yeah, so it'll check for updates and everything and it'll make sure everything's installed properly once you're done with a small little download you will need to log in and just type in log in your username and then your password after that you might have to do the whole steam guard thing i've already went ahead and done this i didn't have you know i don't have to put in my password so then once you are here we'll need to create the directory so here for these examples, it shows two of them, the C drive and the dot. You only need to do one of them. We did not put it in the C drive, so we will use the dot here. You can really put it anywhere, but I'm really just wanting to put it in the little server folder I have. So we will type in force, oh, not force, force in style, <clears throat> dot, uh, backslash, I'm going to call it cs-go, and that'll work for us. So let's make sure over here, yep, cs-go. And now all we'll need to do is do the app update 740 validate. Now this app 740 state is you know, after update job. Okay, I don't know what it, did I do something wrong? I'm reconfiguring there we go. Okay, everything's good. So it is now starting to download. This could take quite a while. I really don't know how large that is. That might be like 10 gig or something. So depending on your internet speed, it could take quite a while. But if you're making a server, we'll hope it doesn't take that long because you'll want a good internet speed to host a server. Unless it's LAN. Now, I'll have these two links up in the description for you. You can do this with all kinds of different games. You're not just restricted to like Counter-Strike and everything. You do this for Gary's Mod. You'll want to download the other games though so you can have all the games with Gary's Mod. And yeah, vice versa. So, thank you for watching. If you have any problems with this, please let me know in the comments section. Make sure to check out my other videos. I have some Counter-Strike tutorials on how to set up plugins and mods and the source mod and everything. Well, I'll see you till next time. Thank you for watching. Peace.